I'm about to put on new producers and teach y'all how to use FL Studio to make a beat. I'm not gonna make it too complex just cause I want it to be easy to follow. So let's get right into it. So when you first open up FL Studio, you're gonna have a browser to your left, which is gonna have all your sounds. You're gonna have a main screen, which is gonna be the arrangement or the playlist. This is where you're gonna lay out the beat. Then you're gonna have a piano roll and you're gonna have a channel rack aka a sequencer so i'm gonna start from top to bottom first let's check out the sounds so when you first download it you're only gonna have default sounds it has a little box icon that says packs you're gonna open that and then boom you're gonna have your drums they're gonna have cymbals hi-hat kicks snares percussions all that for you you sound like this you feel me that's some of the hi-hats that's some of the kicks but they got instruments that you could use as well. They got keyboards and they also have loops too. And then they have vocal samples for y'all. It's a little nostalgic cause I, I haven't used those in mad long, right? But, so that's where you find your sounds. If you wanna download your own sounds, all you gotta do is go to options, go to file, click the file folder that's here and then you can drop a file in i did that for my beat making kit boom boom all i did was click it select folder and then it's going to drop it in there to use these sounds what you're going to want to do is drag them into channel rack you can open up the channel rack by going to this top section up here and there's going to be a bunch of little icons that light up when you hover over them all you got to do is go to the third one it has three boxes with three little boxes next to it it's going to open up your channel rack So now that you know how to put sounds in there, I'm gonna teach you what this is mainly used for. So, so with the channel rack, as I said, so you drop all your sounds. I mainly use it just for the drums, but you gotta put all your sounds in here, whether it's your VSTs, your plugins. If you just wanna use a sample or whatever, you drop all of that in here, all right? So yeah, the channel rack is basically like a sequencer. So you plug it in by the steps. So this is the one, the two, the three, and the four, and then it repeats as five, six, the seven, the eight, or one, the two, the three, and the four. I'm gonna add in some kicks, and I'm gonna add in some claps. You always add the kicks in in the first note, just cause it's gonna be where the beat starts. And then on the third step, so it's gonna go one, two, three, boom. And then you're gonna go four, five, six, seven, boom and then eight, you're not gonna put one and then you gotta start over from one. So you're putting it in on the three and the seven. But for hi-hats, you can actually use a little cheat code. Basically all you gotta do is right click over the hi-hat. So mine says um, 808CH. I'm gonna right click. And if you come over here, you can click fill each two or fill each four and then it will fill it in for you. Basically what it's gonna do is fill one, skip one, and then fill the next one. Now with the kicks, all you really gotta do is use your own rhythm to fill in the kick. So that's what it's gonna sound like. I also am gonna switch back to the default setting just cause I feel like it's easier to see and visualize when I'm putting in the notes, the other one's a little harder. But basically what you're gonna do is with kicks, if you wanna use a regular default kick, you're gonna go here on the, on the first beat and then you're gonna come to the second beat but you're gonna go to the half beat and then you're gonna fill it in on the fourth beat. And then after that, you can honestly just go how you feel. I feel like this right now. And then if you wanted to spice it up with your hi-hats, you can add um, hi-hat rolls, which is basically just you adding notes in between to make it sound a little more unique. So now we got claps, we have hi-hats and kicks. I'm just gonna throw in some snares and see where that takes us.
Now, the next thing I want to show you is the tempo. So if you want to change the tempo to make it go faster or slower, that is going to be at the top by the record button. The record button is a little red button right here. Next to it, you can see some numbers. It's always going to start at 130. So what you could do is slide it up if you want it to go faster. So the 150 range, that's more of like faster hip hop, like trap, drill. Then if you bring it down, this is more of like boom bap, R&B. So I'm gonna slide it up to 150. So that's how you make a drum loop or drum beat in FL Studio. All you gotta do is throw things into the channel rack um, and then use your rhythm to throw claps, kicks, hi-hats, and etc. in here. If you have a percussion or whatever, you throw that in here as well. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the piano roll. Cool, so with the piano roll is you wanna go to a plugin database. It allows you to drag in plugin. Um, so you're gonna click plugin database, go to generators, and now you have a bunch of options that you can choose from. Um, so you have drum options, piano, you have things that you can use for sampling, you have synths that they have for you. Um, I'm going to use Flex just cause it's their best default plugin and it has a lot of sound. So Flex is actually a beautiful tool that they added. When I first started, they didn't have Flex, but now when you first come in, find Flex. If you wanna make chords or melodies, Flex is your go-to for when you're first starting out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a nice guitar. If you have a MIDI keyboard, you can connect your MIDI keyboard by clicking option, MIDI settings, and then you could click your keyboard. When you connect your MIDI keyboard, what that's gonna allow you to do is play notes or play chords real time. So now I could play like a C major chord. You feel me? Something simple. So now that we got the sound in here, you can go to the piano roll. So this is where you're gonna be able to basically make melodies and chords. Quick tip, if you wanna make easy melodies, you can use the stamp tool, which is up top in the left. It's gonna be next to the magnet. It is a circle with three dots. If you don't know how to make chords, you can use chords from here. They have a bunch of simple chords and then they have a bunch of advanced chords. So I'm gonna click minor and now I can just slide and make a minor chord. So this would be like a minor C sharp. And then boom, that's how you can drag a chord in there. So if you wanna make your own chord, all you have to do is click the note and you can adjust the size of this just by clicking this, the end of it, dragging it out. So I'm going to make a chord here now. So I just made a regular regular chord with the guitar. So I wanted to show you how you can edit the stuff in here. So basically, if you want to make notes shorter, all you have to do is click the tail of it and you can make it, you can pull it longer or shorter. Um, if you want to add notes on top, all you have to do is click it and slide it on top. So it would have this effect. And then if you want to know how it sounds by itself, you can grab the playback tool and you basically just do this. And then they have other tools up here as well. So they have the draw tool, which basically allows you to um, add a note. They have the paint tool, which allows you to paint notes on top. Then they have the delete tool, which allows you to delete, but you can also delete just by right clicking with the paint tool. Then you have the slice tool where you could slice off stuff or you could just make it shorter. Um, and then you have the select tool where you could select stuff. But you could also select with the draw tool. All you gotta do is hold down control and then it allows you to select things as well. Now, if you wanna switch the sounds, you can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this by right clicking on the sound. And then in this little box here, it's gonna say clone at the bottom. Press clone and then boom. Now you have the same exact thing just without the melody so and then now what you could do is you could click this arrow here up top where it has the name of the sound and you could basically switch or toggle through the different sounds um you can even go to the kick or whatever or something like that so what i'm gonna do is actually throw in those eight weights that i had earlier So now you can also add 808 melodies or whatever. You could drop those in there. Um, basically, 
all you want to do is follow the drum pattern or follow the chords that are already in here and then boom you got you some 808s cool so i didn't expect the video to be so long so i had to split it up into two parts um this is gonna be the first part and then i'm gonna have another video for the second part that's gonna be coming soon always remember to leave a like if you like and if you don't leave a comment down below to let me know how to grow i hope y'all learned something today and if you did make sure to click this link or it might be over here for the next video word all right peace skx ppy